the early Holocene sea level rise, EHSLR, was a significant jump in sea level. By about 60 m during the early Holocene, between about 12,000 and 7,000 years ago, spanning the Eurasian Mesolithic. The rapid rise in sea level and associated climate change, notably the 8.2 cog cooling event, 8,200 years ago, and the loss of coastal land favored by early farmers, may have contributed to the spread of the Neolithic to Europe. During deglaciation since the last glacial maximum, between about 20,000 to 7,000 years ago, 20 to 7 ka, the sea level rose by a total of about 100 in, at times at extremely high rates, due to the rapid melting of the British-Irish Sea, Fenascandian, Laurentide, Barents Cara, Patagonian, Intuition, and parts of the Antarctic ice sheets. At the onset of deglaciation about 19,000 years ago, a brief, at most 500-year-long, glacial eustatic event may have contributed as much as 10 m to sea level with an average rate of about 20 mm per year. During the rest of the early Holocene, the rate of sea level rise varied from a low of about 6.0 to 9.9 mn slash year to as high as 30 to 60 mn slash year during brief periods of accelerated sea level rise. Solid geological evidence, based largely upon analysis of deep cores of coral reefs, exists only for three major periods of accelerated sea level rise, called meltwater pulses, during the last deglaciation. The first, meltwater pulse 1a, lasted between C14.6 to 14.3 cop. A 13.5 m rise over about 290 years centered at 14.2 cop. The EHSLR spans meltwater pulses 1b and 1c, between 12,000 and 7,000 years ago. Meltwater pulse 1b between c 11.4 to 11.1 cop, a 7.5 m rise over about 160 years centered at 11.1 cop, which includes the younger Dryas interval of reduced sea level rise at about 6.0 to 9.9 mn slash year. Meltwater pulse 1C between C8.2 to 7.6 cop, centered at 8.0 cop, a rise of 6.5 m in less than 140 years. Such rapid rates of sea level rising during meltwater events clearly implicate major ice loss events related to ice sheet collapse. The primary source may have been meltwater from the Antarctic ice sheet. Other studies suggest a northern hemisphere source for the meltwater in the Laurentide ice sheet.